The Bureau of Engraving and Printing in Washington, D.C., produces billions of dollars or Federal Reserve notes each year for delivery to the Federal Reserve System throughout the nation. The Bureau is part of the U.S. Department of Treasury and has currency production facilities in Washington, D.C. and Fort Worth, Texas. C-SPAN visited the Bureau's Historical Resource Center to learn about the history of paper currency production since the Civil War. I'm Franklin Knoll, and now I'm the historical consultant to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Right now we are in the Historical Resource Center, which is in the annex building of the Bureau down on 14th Street. This center houses the Bureau's collection of various objects, and right now we have around two million objects associated with the printing of currency, stamps, and government obligations, which the Bureau has been doing since the Civil War, the early 1860s. The Bureau first got into the business of dealing with currency in 1862 when the United States government first started producing its own currency. Before that, currency had been made up of coins minted by the Mint and by private banknotes, which were printed privately and issued privately by various banks. The first thing that the Treasury produced or actually contracted for were demand notes, which are seen here. Back in 1861, legislation was passed to issue $50 million worth of this currency as a substitute currency for gold, as there was a shortage when the Civil War broke out. These were printed in New York by a private banknote company and shipped down to the Treasury building in D.C. Here they were cut apart from their sheets of four each and they were hand signed by various clerks within the Treasury. This was a very laborious process, as you can guess. As the Civil War moved on, cash was still short, so the Treasury was able to get Congress to pass legislation to issue something which would be known as legal tender notes or United States notes, or we now call them greenbacks. Um, originally, $150 million worth of greenbacks were issued. The problem was this is a lot of pieces of paper to deal with. Um, overall, you had to deal with about 25 million pieces of paper. And this is hard to do by hand with scissors and hand signing. So eventually, the Treasury was allowed to start printing on signatures, to print on seals. And a fellow by the name of Spencer Clark set up uh, steam-driven equipment to separate these notes and prepare them for issuance. And Spencer Clark is the first head of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. And so in the basement of the Treasury Building in 1862. Uh, he and some women employees set up steam-driven equipment to start chopping apart separate bills from these sheets, and hence the Bureau of Engraving was born. 